Hello everyone, it's Francis with Your Book of Memories. I've got a new project to share with you guys today. It's actually not that new. I have used the measurements and page constructions out of one of my tutorials. I'll leave it as a link below. The two-in-one chunky album, okay? I used the Santorini by Prima for that book, but this, I did something slightly different, but it's exactly the same. So I used Christmas by Cartabella. Super beautiful paper, I love it. It's probably one of my favorite Christmas papers I've ever seen or used, okay? So we've got cut apart pages. I bought the ephemera pack, frames and tags, and then I got the chipboard accents. That went perfect with all, just everything went perfect. Okay, I've got some ribbon right here from my stash and you can actually find all these products on jshobbiesandcrafts.com, okay? This is some stash fabric, I actually <laughs> reupholstered my stools with this. Uh, yeah, it looks wonderful on the spine. Okay, so I'm just really happy with how that turned out. And if you guys haven't heard of the new trend, uh, hanging your stockings upside down is actually the new 2018 Christmas. Uh, I'm just joking. That was a mistake. Okay, that's just totally wrong, but that's good. I'm going to fix it later. <laughs> I've got a chipmore element right here, and I've got some super cute lace right here from my friend Anne. Thank you so much for sending that to me. It's just wonderful. I know it's probably hard to see because of this gorgeous Christmas tree paper, but it is there, and here's a sticker. So you'll see what I mean by what tutorial I used, and you can become familiar with the tutorial because I used two of the same page units, and then uh, the page two unit, and then my spine is two inches, okay? So this is 10 by nine, and then the spine is two inches wide. So super easy, simple. You guys are gonna just, you guys are gonna have a blast, okay? So this is what it looks like on the inside. I'm super excited. I used my chalk marker. I went around with my journaling pen, you'll notice that. And I use this wonderful EK Success Punch that you can also find on Shelly's shop. And I have all the product details and stuff like that in that tutorial, okay? So look at this, four by six cutouts. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I had so much fun. You guys will know what I mean in a minute. Look at this. And you know, I kind of went a little bit nuts. I wanted to make like snow falling with the chalk marker. I thought that was cute. So this just opens up like this. I've got a little Brad twine closure. Okay, super cute. You can stuff a bunch of different photo mats in here if you wanted. Oh my gosh, I love the wreath. This just folds back up like this. So you'll notice I do have a giant side pocket. Okay, so check this thing out. In fact, you could stuff a bunch of things in here. Super cute ephemera, then we've got a sticker, and strips of the design paper, places for journaling and photos. Look at this, love the wreath. Use my banner punch, thank you, Amy. That's the Stampin' Up! banner punch right there. Comes in handy very, very often. <laughs> so thank you for that. Look at this, on page pocket, more of the punch. I just fussy cut this over. No, actually, you know what? I fussy cut that out of one of the ephemera pieces. It had like a border and I just cut around it. And then this actually has a giant insert on the top. Some cut aparts and layered design paper. Super cute. Okay, so we got two more photo spots right here. And then this is actually a tag out of one of the 12 by 12 papers. This is a little sticker. Another banner. We've got a belly band page. This is super easy. Look at that. Love the punch. Another sticker. And there. Super cute little photos or journaling can go right here. And then on this side, I've got some little envelopes. Okay, so I did like this Brad closure. I <laughs> drew a little circle with my chalk marker. And then these open up like this. I did use my We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board to create this little design right here. Okay. We've got chalk, chalk marker on the back. <laughs> We've got chalk marker on the back of these photo mats. Perfect. Over here is just simple. I've got this little flap right here on its own. This is a chipboard element. And then you could put a four by six photo landscape and portrait on this one flap. So that's super cute. That's a sticker. So is this. I love this page. It's got a waterfall and a pocket. Okay, so there we go. Look at that. Wonderful, and here we are. See if I can get this in frame. <laughs> you can put the photos here and up here, or you can journal, whatever it is that you wanna do. And this tag and photo mat hold these in place. And here's another large insert right up here. 
I didn't even need to take that out yet because that's on the other page and I didn't put journaling lines on this. I am obsessed with this paper. I think it's my favorite one out of the whole collection. <laughs> okay, we've got stacked pockets right here. I layered some pieces up. Forgot the chalk marker on that. Surprise. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually want you to see what this looks like. Just like that, look how cute. Um, you know what, this probably holds 40 photos or more. Okay, so I'm not exactly sure. 45 to 50 probably places for photos. Another little layout right here. Hopefully I'm in frame. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Super cute. Actually, this is another one of my favorite pieces of paper. And look at this, chipboard element on page pocket. Here we go. So I'll show you in a second. This is the page one unit that you can make from the tutorial right here. This big old chunk, it repeats itself, okay? So then it becomes this again with these two photo mats and places for journaling or even just decorations. Look at this. We got the belly band going again and then the insert came out of there. I took it out of the wrong place. That was supposed to be like that. And then it repeats, okay? So look at this. Wonderful. That's from the ephemera. This is one of the pieces I cut out. And then this is just on its own. Super cute. And then on the back, I've got the same construction as the front inside cover. Okay, that little guy's sticking. <laughs> okay, so again, look at these. These are just out of the cut apart pages. And then we've got the giant pocket on the back of this whole unit right here. This is where I chose to put the four by six cut aparts. So just really quickly, this last page here is the page one unit from the tutorial. And then this is the page two with the waterfall. And then this is the page one again. So all I did was put my base pages on one, two, three. And then I did page one unit, page two. And then I repeated page one unit right back here. Okay. So that's all in the tutorial. I'll leave it down below. You can also check out Shelly's shop, JS Hobbies and Crafts. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Bye.